Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Under Our Expedition with me, Bring It On. So I have a plan. It involves just sprinting through this area. I was gonna uh, eat the food that gives me bonus constitution. Just to make it a little easier, but I don't have any. So here we go. I just want to map out this area, see if there's anything interesting by the time we get to the end. And I'll use the uh, the area transition thing that I did last time to stay healthy. I don't know if it's worth even looking at these graves, honestly. I'm gonna just run through and map everything out. A hoist mechanism. I was hoping he would be able to get me in the light. What does this do? I can't do it during combat. Well, let's, um... He'll dissipate. In a bit. I have to sit here and weather his attacks for a second, but, uh... He should go away. At least he has in the past. It's not going away. I don't like that. Go away. There we go. This same it to be any way to what does it say? To wind the drum. So I need something to lift it with, right? All right. Well, let's load then, because I took a lot of damage trying to do that. Oh, there's more horse mechanisms. Interesting. Okay, so I need something to... Gosh darn it. Fine, I'll go this way. He'll come for me, then I'll go back around him. So someone in the comment section told me that I don't have what I need to... Um... find certain stuff here. Uh, he didn't give me a lot of details, but I'm assuming maybe that I need to find the tool to lift these elsewhere. I guess it Maybe it's in one of the graves or something. Maybe that's why I'm supposed to be exploring all these graves. More hoist mechanisms and it's a dead end, okay. Back here, we'll activate sprint, try and get back to the air transition bug. Or not bug, but uh technique.
These ghosts have to be getting frustrated. Because they can't get me. Or sorry, spirits. They're restless spirits, not ghosts. Though some would argue that they are the same thing. Alright, let's go. Right, I'm going to ignore you and go this way. But I appreciate your time. I'm gonna cycle through here. I guess I don't need a top off. Let's uh let's just go. More hoist mechanisms. So, I don't know what to do about the restless spirits themselves. I'm hoping I find some tool to get them off my back while I explore this area and try and lift up whatever these lift up. It looks like they're being... they go down into the water? So do they have like bodies down in the water or something? Intrigued. But it doesn't seem like these guys are like the uh, the doppelgangers on the Silent Isle. I thought that maybe they were like that, where if I went into the light, they'd leave me alone. I guess I didn't try running. But no, he's still right there. He's, he's still going to get me. He, he doesn't care about the light. Which makes it a little frustrating, even though there is light here. But maybe these plants don't work. Maybe it has to be like this light. I don't want to put more hoist mechanisms. If I stand here, nope, he just for some reason walked all the way around to get to me, but the light didn't stop him. Okay, I was like, oh, the light works. No, he just took a weird path. <laughs> Darn, he dashed my hopes. Found it. Another problem I'm facing is I don't have the carry capacity to deal with it. Son of a gun. Alright, I need to run back this way. 
Got a plan, guys. I've got it figured out. My problem is I have to sit here and take this guy's punches over and over again. Also, I think there's another way north from here, isn't there? Or they both lead to the same area? No, it's a different way north. So I, it looks like there's going to be four zones. Is there something specific I'm looking for here? Like, why am I hoisting up all these bodies? Hmm. Questions yet to be answered. Alright, I need to decide what I'm going to drop before I transition, just to make it a little faster. I guess half of these would be fun. Uh, let's go ahead and split these if I can. Probably don't need that many. But who really knows? Leave me alone! Gosh darn it. Alright, need to top off my health. Gonna take one of these. Pretty slow going, but I think we got it. The biggest problem is going to be I have the I have the thing right. Don't I have a crank? You got to use it. Okay, hold on. Let me just load that last auto save then. Oh wait. Son of a gun. I forgot that there's an autosave between zones. Well, I didn't really lose progress. I know that there's four ways north. We found it over here. Okay. We're fine. Let's go get that bone crank. Now I know that it needs to be activated, but it can't be used in combat. I think is what it said, which is super frustrating. But it's fine. It's fine. It was up here. It was laying right there. Can't interact with it during combat. That is frustrating. Alright, well, I'll just leave and then come back. Not a big deal. It's gonna be extremely time consuming, but we can do this. And these ghosts can't tell me otherwise. Alright, wrapped in scaly snake skin and encased in bone, the huge corpse slowly rots away in effusing acrid smell. Uh, you could force your way through the wraps and search the corpse if you so desired. Examine the back of the corpse? Examine the back of the corpse. Examine the head and neck? You're examining the head and neck. Oh, no, we're looking for that, guys. Um, Okay, nope, we need to look for torso. Left scapula. Right? It was the left shoulder that... So the ferryman killed that one native with his shard. He hit him in the left shoulder, right? In the back of the left shoulder. Okay, but that's what we need to do. We need to examine the shoulders. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna leave, come back, exit combat, so I have to deal with this guy. Also, so I can get my bone cranked back and go to the next one. Okay, I can see. 
Oh, this would be really crappy if you didn't know where to look, I guess. Gosh darn it. I don't know, if it weren't for these darn restless spirits, this wouldn't be a problem. What? There has to be a way to get these guys to leave you alone. It doesn't involve, like, running back and forth repeatedly. Nope, leave me alone. I'm not messing with you. There has to be a way to put this on my bar. I don't need antidotes here. Yeah, these ghosts are just super annoying. The fact you can't save also makes it super annoying. But I guess so you can't... Wait, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Oh, I gotta go back and wait for him to go away. But that's why they do it, so you can't, like, save before you enter a new area, then check one uh, hoist mechanism, then leave, and then go back and forth. I get why they've done what they've done. Doesn't mean I like it. But I understand it. Alright, so examine the front of the corpse. Left shoulder. All right, so we can do one at a time, reload. I'm thinking it'd be wise to edit until I find what I'm looking for. But I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess until I find something unusual. That's all I have to go on. When my character finds something, then I'll know. See, it's not... This isn't hard to do, it's just time-consuming. I'll never retrieve the crank, no! Oh no, it takes it out of your... It takes it off your bar each time. That's frustrating. Alright, well, back on. That'll make it a little faster. Front of the corpse, torso, left shoulder. Oh, I found something. The shard. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna say we're done here. Um, I'm not messing with this anymore. I'm gonna go map out the rest of the areas, but I'm not going to uh, continue looking for stuff. I'm also gonna mention that I left the let me update my map. Um, bone crank. Uh, south. Western. Hoist. Mechanism. Okay, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm done. Then we'll see what the shard is all about after we leave this area. But I'm gonna finish mapping it out, then we'll leave. And I'll see what the shard is. Because that's the thing the ferryman was talking about. I wonder if I can return it to him. Alright, but we'll use this technique to just keep uh, exploring here. There hasn't been anything in like the pots and stuff worth grabbing so far, so... Can't make it past you because you're a jerk. Let's uh, sprint all the way back. He'll chase me. I'll just run past him. I can barely see him, by the way. This area is super dark. Leave me alone, ghost. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should just leave. I shouldn't try to explore while he's attacking me. That's a bad idea. So once again, I'm able to brute force my way through an area. So I'm fairly tanky. I wish I knew how to handle these restless spirits, so it made everything so much easier. real quick to handle my map. Um, I was going to put explore for the ones that didn't have the shard in it. I put here so that I remembered to go there because I had to leave to save to end the last episode. Uh, let's see. Two hoists uh, north Need exploring. There we go. Oh gosh. All right. Well, this is exciting. I really want to see what I found. What did I find? Is it a key item? the shard. Alright, we'll uh, deal with that in a second. Well, again, once we leave, we'll, we'll look at it. He spawned really fast. I already know what's going to be in here, but still, I'd rather have it mapped out for... In case I have to come back. Alright, let's get out of here. Everything's, I think everything's mapped out. I'm not going to fret if it's not at this point. Let's just leave. I have no desire to be here any longer. All right, we're safe. All right, I'm going to save before I do anything else. I'm also going to give a hard save because I don't feel like going through that again. Take a sip of my coffee and then see what this shard is all about. All right, the shard is about seven centimeters long. It looks like two different items being held together by some unnatural force. One item being made from the strange rock, while the other being some manner of crystal, which gives out prismatic glow, but is not able to illuminate any other object. The more of the one side of the shard you see, the more the whole shard seems to assume the non-visual properties of that side, such as weight, temperature, and surface texture. Let's quick save, and then we'll examine it. Also, before I forget, let's put my antidotes back on my bar. Alright, I've already read all that. Examine the rocky side. The stone surface feels coarse, but comfortable to touch at the same time, and not all cold as you would expect from something that resembles stone. It feels very nice to press your skin against it, but it does not produce any powerful sensations that you might 
that you feel might fade with time. It must be the most comfortable inorganic material in the world. Examine the crystal side. The crystal side of this chart looks so ethereal and delicate that you're not sure it is material at all. It does not seem to occupy the space in a normal way. It feels as if it rests in a different world, infinitely far from you, and you can only see it due to its soft, inexhaustible light. A different world. Is that indicating I should drink the juice and look at it? I'm assuming any time it mentions something ethereal, or a different world, or different dimension, or anything that resembles second sight, I should drink the juice at this point. I'm paranoid I'm gonna, I've missed a lot of stuff because I haven't been drinking the juice whenever something like this comes up. Um, we'll see. Alright, look at it sideways to examine both rock and crystal side at the same time. It feels weird to look at the shard sideways. Indeed, it's as if there are two objects that don't look, look like they can connect, but somehow, they do. Right, I'm gonna drink the juice and try this. Just because it mentioned the uh, crystal side existing in a different world. My guess is is that the crystal side is just the other side, but in another dimension. Um, and I'm thinking we're gonna return this to the uh, to the ferryman. What am I doing? Oh, hello. This is new, right? Uh, did I read this last time? I don't think so. As you trace your hand across the surface, you have a strange feeling that somehow this side of the item is meant to be held in your hand, like a handle. There's nothing in the shape of it that suggests it, but you get the feeling all the same. This feeling doesn't last long after you turn the item in your hands again. The crystal side. Here we go. If you stare into the crystal long, its light starts to imprint incredible images into your mind's eye. Geometric shapes and bodies that defy the laws of space, infinitely fine patterns, colors beyond the visual spectrum, and greater wonders that you have no way to describe even to yourself. And they all seem to occupy the same space, the infinite deeps of the ethereal light of the crystal. You need, only, you need but only reach out and grab them before they flee too far from your limited mind. Look at it sideways to examine both rock and crystal side at the same time. Somehow the two disparate parts of the shard now seem to perfectly fit together and no longer make sense separately, like a handle and a blade of a knife. It seems derailed, but you now feel as you might be able to take hold of this weapon or tool or whatever it might turn out to be, for it seems it has potential to be many things. Try to feel out the handle of the shard and plunge your mind deep into the light and bring back whatever you can. As you reach for and into the shard, both your hand and your mind seem lost inside it, overwhelmed by its energies and vastness. You feel as though your entire being could be torn apart and disintegrated inside this great space, so you quickly grab onto the first thing your inadequate hands can grasp and pull yourself out. Ethereal Torch So the shard turned into the torch, okay. Combat Utility. The torch is composed of seven glass-like tubes of bluish hue that originate at the top of the shaft and converge to the top of the torch. Inside the torch, between those tubes, rests bright glass so indescribably delicate and ethereal that you are not certain if it has any material properties at all or if it's pure light. The torch is almost weightless. Use launch a ball of light at the designated area. Everyone caught in the blast take 60 to 120 energy damage. This attack bypasses 50% of target's damage resistant threshold. Precision is dependent on the evoker's will and level. I have four will, so this is not going to be a good weapon for me, but it gives me an idea. I'm going to go fight a ghost. Let me quick save. Uh, let me put this on my bar. I don't need that for right now. Alright, it's a combat utility, so it needs to go into... Here. Now 
I put the antidotes back on here. Can it hurt me? Let me quick save. Does it have infinite uses? I can't it can't hit me, so that's that's good to know. Uh, let's see if I can hit these ghosts with it. Cause if so that'll make exploring this area much easier. Nope, doesn't look like I can hit the ghosts. We'll just load. Lots of waste. But I'm wondering... What is this for? What, what can I use this for? Or is it, just a, is it just a neat weapon you can have? It does okay damage. That's if you have a will build, because it looks like you can just keep spamming it infinitely. With a slight cooldown. And it has a really cool effect. It has a very, it looks like a Tesseract, or it's maybe something from Stargate SG-1. Also cool. Okay. So I still can't fight the ghosts with it, so I don't care about the ghosts. Um, not going back there. I got something cool out of it. There was that thing... No, but I used the juice when I examined it, right? The, uh... The mysterious rock back up here. I used the juice when I looked at it, I couldn't do anything with it. Oh, hey, there's... People here. Didn't expect this. Guess darn it, I didn't want to fight, I was going to call it an episode. So I think I'm just going to load. Here, nothing should have changed. Alright, so I know people are waiting for me, we'll deal with that in the next episode. Man Singh's telling me to go back to this mysterious rock over here. I know that I have the ethereal torch. Though I don't know, why is it called a torch though? Is it, is it just a weapon or can I use it to... Um, see things I wouldn't normally be able to see. Maybe the, even the juice doesn't work for, you know? Torch is composed of seven glass. I'm just going to read the description again, see if it says anything about... Bright glass, so delicate and ethereal, you can assert it. Pure light, and it's almost weightless. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm going to call it here. Uh, next episode, we'll deal with the natives that are trying to ambush us, and then we'll, uh... I don't know what we'll do next. I'm... I feel like I'm missing something with this rock up here. And I want to examine it. But we'll see. I feel like I feel like I missed something. I'm missing something with this torch. I don't know what it is. I'll... I don't know, we'll figure it out together. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.